So, bioplastics. What's a bioplastic? Uh, well, a bioplastic is a plastic polymer material made from plant sources and uh, a material that will often biodegrade or compost at the end of its life as well. Okay, so what's better about bioplastics? Well, um, I guess we're all aware of the issues that oil-based plastics have brought to us over the last 40-50 years um, in terms of litter, in terms of filling up landfill, in terms of the, um, the growing amount of them in our oceans. Um, whereas bioplastics are made from natural sources, often from a plant base, and at the end of their lives they biodegrade and disappear and go back to nature. Okay, and what sort of, what's, when you sort of plant based something, what kind of things can make a plastic? There's a growing variety, but they're made from potato starch, corn starch, materials like that. So okay. Potatoes, corn. So I've, we brought some in, so just so I can. So this is. This is a cornstarch based material in that one, um, and that's a dis disposable razor that's on the market in the, in the US at the moment. And this is a plastic? It's a bioplastic. Made it's made from around 85-90% plant based material, yet its functionality is the same as an oil based plastic. So when people talk about bioplastics, you always kind of get this impression, like you said, they're compostable, yeah. um, of kind of very short life, you know, thin plastic bags that fall apart and only compost, but this is very hard. Um, it, it has a slightly different feel than oil based plastics, a little bit softer, the tactile feel is quite nice. Um, but the, we can basically design the plastics to sort of, from those sort of short life disposable items to last up to sort of seven or eight years and still degrade at the end of that, that time. So even this very hard plastic, it will degrade? It, it, will, it will biodegrade in, in a period of time. It, you know, if you put that in your compost heap, it might be there in a year, but in three years it will be gone. So it really could be, when I need to chuck it something out, it could go into my compost heap? I'd take the blade off first. <laughs> that might be, so we've bought, so just so, I, so this is a pen, this is bioplastic? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Got a straw here. Yeah, those are used in sort of fast food outlets in Eastern Europe. Yeah, and we've also got some um, sort of films. Yeah, and those are typically used in plastic bags or in they those film, nice. all those films that you cover the fields with that, that, that farmers have. So we've obviously got a range of sort of thin and floppy and hard and. Um, the, the great, amazing thing about plastics, the reason there are plastics absolutely everywhere, is that plastics can do almost anything. You know, I mean, they can last for a hundred years, or yeah. they can be really thin, or they can be really rigid. I think all different things. Can bioplastics really compete with that? If you asked me that question a couple of years ago, I, the plastics were re bioplastics were really confined to the sort of the niche of disposable items. But over the last couple of years both in bio and other companies in this market, we've really sort of broadened the range of materials you can make. Um, now we're not doing under bonnet stuff yet for cars. You know, not super hot or... Super hot or strong acid or alkali conditions, but, but the, the range that we can tackle are growing and growing, and particularly in the last year or so, we've seen a lot more interest from our customers in durable goods as well as those throwaway so things, items. things that last. Yeah, I mean, and, and we, we've sort of... Uh, certainly in buying we really love a challenge so you know as customers come to us and say can you do this you know we can often find a way to do it so, so give me give me an example of um, a sort of plastic product that you've made that is bioplastic that you might not that's a good you know a good example of where uh, bioplastics better a good example where the sort of function works as well is the um, for example protectors around small trees yeah and we do those for companies both in the UK and in Brazil so if you can imagine when you plant a tree at the beginning of its life, you want to protect it from rodents and rabbits and things like that, and you put a plastic guard around it. Now on the oil-based version of that, eight years later you've got to send a man or woman back to go and pick it up, okay. uh, otherwise it's littering the forest floor. With the bio version... The tree can't grow out of it. Yes, well, well the, the trees tend to grow out and break them anyway, okay. but with the bio version, when the trees grow out and them break them, they fall into the leaf litter, and within a year or so they've gone. So, so literally, so after you, that period, I'd go yeah, back, Yeah. I can't see any plastic. And, and there's, the standards about biodegradable materials are that within about 12 weeks of being in the right conditions, 90, they have to defragment completely into tiny pieces, so 95% of the original material has to disappear. Okay. Now, that, that sort of, I remember there being kind of controversy around plastic bags, and I think it's when they call them degradable. And it actually turns out that they're, you know, I'm talking about conventional plastics, they just break down into tiny pieces, which is actually worse because then you've got hundreds of tiny pieces of plastic that can't break down any further going around in the environment, you know, getting into the food chain, washing into our rivers. When you talk about biodegrading and composting, 
do you mean truly degrade? And the materials we make truly degrade, and you know, we have to demonstrate that at the end at the end of their life they go back into carbon dioxide and water. So they literally break down. To they break nothing. down. They break down into nothing physical, um, and, and we have to prove that as they do that, there's nothing poor or bad released into the soil, and indeed. We have to demonstrate that we grow little plants in the soil after our materials have biodegraded in it. So they don't, and there's no little things in there. Exactly. So. Okay. So they they can compost. They can have sort of clever uses where they make more sense. Yeah. What's the catch? Why why isn't everything made of bioplastic? I mean, these materials at the moment are more expensive than their old base cousins, and part of that is you know we have to grow our inputs, be it a potato or a tree. You know, and whereas oil arguably comes out of, comes up out of the ground, um, and then at the moment bioplastics still form a small proportion of the total plastic sales. So it's, there's also a scale advantage that the oil guys have versus our materials. But in time that gap will close, and it's been doing it quite rapidly in the last couple of years. So bioplastics are catching up. Bioplastics are getting cheaper as we make them in larger and larger scale, and you know, oil's getting more expensive as we as we find there's not as much about it in the world as we perhaps expected. Okay, and if if we're making everything from bioplastic and you're saying it's made of corn and things like that, are we talking that, is it is it another biofuel? Are we going to have to chop down all of our rainforests just to be growing stuff for our plastics? Yeah, I think first of all, I, I don't expect bioplastics to take over the world next year. You know, it, it will be a progression over the next 20, 30 years. Um, more and more of our development work is is about using cellulosics as a, an input to these materials rather than food-based crops. Um, but even if we were using agricultural crops for the manufacture of bioplastics, we're talking 1% to 2% of the amount of material that biofuels will use because in the end we're using the substance of the plant rather than just trying to extract the energy out of it. Okay, so in a kind of, I've got a field of corn in terms of ratio of how much plastic I could make to that. Difficult to make the crust, but, but, it, but it's, it's many more better. times, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I feel more informed about bioplastics. Um, I do quite like the feel of them, so I'm hoping there might be more bioplastics around <laughs> soon. Um, and I look sort of forward to seeing the industry develop, so thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye.